Hey, Brian from Graphic Mall. Today I have this blood glucose meter. So let's open it up, see everything that we get, and we will go through the steps on how to use it. So this is your user guide. This will kind of give you an overview of everything. Front and back. There is a more in-depth user manual. Definitely read through that. There is a lot of information. So it comes with a nice storage bag. These are your test strips. These are your basic, your, I guess, lancets. This is a lancet device, and this is what these lances go into to basically extract the blood, or actually poke a hole in your finger so the blood comes out. This is the meter. And then you open up the back. You gotta kind of push down and move out. And then that will open up. And then it does come with batteries. And by the looks of it, it looks like they go in That way, kind of push it in, set it up, down like that. Then we just put the cover on, and then that basically turns it on for you. And then you want to set up the, the time and the date, because it does have a memory in here. Okay, to set the time and the date, you basically Hold this top button in for about three seconds, and that'll turn that on. Uh, I still don't have no idea what that is. But anyway, so we hit memory, and that will go to your date. So up or down. So let's set this to today's date. The next is your time. It defaults to military time. So it's 2... 209 roughly and then that will set your time up for you and then basically just one click and that will turn that on for you and you're ready to start testing oh page 13 in the manual is how you set your time and data okay so these are your lancets and you get a bunch of them so, and basically what you're doing is, so twist this and that opens that up, put that back on, a little bit of an angle, and then twist and it will close. So you're going to put your lancet in this way. And this was a little tricky in the beginning to figure out exactly where it goes, but it looks like it goes kind of like down on the side like that. And then I pushed it down, so it's kind of like loaded. And then you want to twist this open. And then that is going to be your top. And then again, face it like this. And then turning this top dial will determine the depth of how far that needle goes in. So as a test, I'm going to do probably two because I don't have the th thickest or the thinnest skin in the world. And make sure your hands are clean. You can do a quick alcohol swab if you need to. Okay, so that is going to set the depth, but before that, let's get the meter set up. So we're going to go in these containers and get out a test strip. And then we'll just pull that out. Okay, and make sure that you only have one test strip. And then this is where the blood is going to soak into. And you load it like this. Then that will automatically put your meter on. And then after you have a drop of blood ready, you're putting the meter on like this. And then that will soak the blood up into the meter. So let's get the lancet ready. So we're going to use a depth of two. And what you do is you pull this back. And you'll hear it click. And then you're ready to go. And then that press that button will release it. And 
and it does get a little sharp pain to it and then again we just kind of squeeze out a little bit of blood and then put the meter right there to test strip and then it soaked the blood up and then that is what your reading is so pretty quick and easy and then obviously when you're done just make sure that you you wash your hands really good afterwards as well and that should uh heal up pretty quick then when you're done with your test strip you basically just push that up and that will basically pop it out so it's good for disposal and then when you're done with the lancet you basically open this up and then you have that facing down like that then basically you are poking that into that and then that will cover up the needle making it safe for disposal and then you basically just pull up on that and then it's good to dispose of safely anyway uh brian from garage mall thanks for watching and be safe out there